Hey, this is Tamara at MooglyBlog.com, and in this video I'm working with Red Heart to show you one of their fantastic new yarns. This edition of Yarn Love is all about Red Heart Roll With It Tweed. It is a gorgeous yarn that comes in 18 different colorways, three of which you can see here, and there's lots of variation, everything from brights to darks to neutrals and pastels. Let's take a closer look at this yarn together. All right. Roll With It Tweed is made with 100% acrylic, which means it's going to mach be machine washable and dryable. Each cake includes 5.29 ounces or 296 yards, that's 271 meters. Now, as I mentioned, this is a cake. You can see here, it is a center pull. That said, you can work from the outside edge of this if you prefer. Continuing to look at the label here, let's see. You can see it does include a free knitting pattern on this particular one. And if we go this way, you can see here's the colorways. Uh, this one is called Modern Pastel. It's the one I've used on a project coming up on Moogly Blog, which I'll give you a little sneak peek of here in just a moment. You'll see here that this yarn does include dye lots. So you'll want to make sure to get enough for your project. Now, as I mentioned, this yarn is machine washable and dryable, but that's on low. Don't iron it and don't dry clean it. Ironing acrylic, bad idea. You'll end up with a melty mess. Now, this is a number four or medium weight yarn. In the UK, that would be a 10 to 12 ply. They recommend an eye hook or a five millimeter knitting needles. So that is what you can see here on the label. Like I said, it is a center pull skein. You can see here, it's got that one right there. Um, I do want to point out though, here I've got another cake from the Modern Pastel colorway. These are the same dye lot, but you can see that you can get a lot of variation in this yarn. So if you're making a multi-skein project, that's something to take into account too. You may end up, just because of the way you want the colors to go, pulling from the inside of one and the outside of another, or mixing up a little bit. So be sure to take a closer look at the skeins you're buying to make sure they're going to work for your project. Like I said, it's a lot of variations, so they're pretty good and mixed together, but if you're, a, if you're one of those people who's very particular about how your colorways go together, then that's something you'll definitely want to take into account. Let's go ahead and look at how it works up on the hook and needles. Okay, here we have a crochet swatch that I've been working on. The first few rows are half double crochet, and then I've got a couple rows of double crochet. You can see with the color variation here, uh, you don't get a whole lot of specific stitch definition. Um, there's lots of color play here, and the different colorways, of course, will work up a little differently here too, but it really is quite pretty. And over time, of course, I haven't worked enough of it, so this is all sort of a I don't know if you can call something with so much color variation a solid, but it's all, you know, the same section here of the yarn pulling from here from the middle. You can see that that will change a lot as you continue to crochet with it. Now, crocheting with it, I found to be pretty easy. It is three strands that are separately dyed and then plied together. You can kind of see that here. So if you, um, you know, if you're not paying attention, it is possible to accidentally split the yarn with boat hook and needles. It's not a chain ad. It's not going to prevent you from doing that. So that is something to pay attention to. But I didn't really find it to be a problem either. It frogs beautifully. I didn't have any trouble frogging it or ripping out my work at all. And it didn't get fuzzy when I would redo those stitches. As a designer, I do a lot of frogging and ripping out. So that was very good to see. And it really does work up really beautifully on the hook. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it on the knitting needles. Okay, and here's just a little knit swatch that I've been working up. Here I've got some garter stitch and here I've got some stockinette. So you can see a little bit of the difference. And this is worked from about the same section as that crochet swatch. So you can see it has a very similar colorway going on right there. You can kind of see on the other side how that looks, but it really is quite a pretty yarn. And this is the recommended needle size as well. So it's got decent drape, um, but if you wanted to use it for a garment, I might recommend going up a needle size or even a hook size a little bit. That said, let me show you the crochet project I've been working on after I took, take a few stitches here. Now for that project, I actually decided to go down a hook size to get a slightly stiffer fabric. So that is an option with this yarn as well. But as you can see, it really does work out beautifully on the needles. These are Knitter's Pride Interchangeables. So they're um, not super sharp, but they're not super dull either. And again, I didn't really have any problem with the yarn splitting, but it can split. So that is something to watch for. While I've only made a one skein project with this yarn so far, I have gone through a couple skeins of it. And so far, I haven't come across any thin or lumpy parts or any ties or knots in this yarn at all. 
Okay, and here's that sneak peek I promised you. This is the Sherbert Stripes tote that will be going live for free on mooglyblog.com in July 2019. So be sure to look for that pattern. It uses one cake of Roll With It Tweed. I used the modern pastel colorway shown here, but I really think it'd be quite pretty in any of the colorways, and it's a really great way to show off the variation of this yarn. I will definitely be including a stitch tutorial for this great stitch I've come up with. It sort of takes a little bit of Tunisian, uh, but you're only still making one stitch at a time, and I'm just really excited to show it to you. I really love the way this bag turned out. I did use a slightly smaller hook to create a really gorgeous solid fabric as well. So you can see how that looks worked up here and we can look forward to seeing that pattern on Moogly Blog soon. Okay, so that's been a closer look at Red Heart Roll With It Tweed. I've had a lot of fun using this yarn. I have found it to be very consistent. I haven't had any trouble with splitting or frogging or knots or fuzzing or anything like that. And I think it works beautifully for both crochet and for knitting and would be a decent yarn for a beginner to use too because it doesn't have too much texture and you can see your stitches. Um, using variegated yarns can be a little tricky for beginners, but if this is a yarn you love, absolutely give it a try. And of course, experienced people should have no trouble at all using Roll With It Tweed. It's a really fun yarn, and the colorways are just so beautiful. I really do hope you check it out. Please go to the link in the description for this video. There you will find a link to this yarn, as well as the hook and needles you've seen me use here today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And please subscribe to the Moogly Blog channel. It really helps us out. Have a great day, everybody.